What's up, my favorite, <laughs> my favorite people, my shining stars? I hope you are shining bright, not letting anyone dim that light. My name is Trinity, and welcome to my channel, all about the healing. Thank you, thank you, thank you to my ride and dies, to my new subscribers, to whoever donated, who's donating to the channel. I want to let you know that your donations really mean a lot. I just bought a new camera, bought two more decks, bought a card holder. You know, we're going to continue to keep buying and keep doing, doing. but thank you. I'm not going to um, go into the long spills, guys. Um, I, this is really a short energy exchange here, a bonus read. And I'm going to go ahead and, and get started. Um but those of you that clicked here for the first time, please go to the description box. And if you have um, any questions about what's in the description box, just hit me up on email, okay? We're going to honor the sign of Virgo. Bam, Virgo, there it is. If no one told you that you're the bomb diggity, let me tell you the bomb diggity. You are the bomb a diggity and it is so, so be it. Bam! There it is, Virgo. All right. So, guys, what we're going to be going on today, what we're going to be getting into today is who's coming towards you in love. It's new love, old love, secret love, crush, ex, girlfriend, boyfriend, wife, husband. What are their intentions? What do what do they want to say? What do they want to tell you? Or what needs to be said about the situation? I'm going to get down to the nitty gritty today. We got um, additional information. We got initials. We got messages, and we got the overall, uh, the overall love. Um, the not the overall, the love oracle. All right. So let's get into it. So who's coming towards you in love okay specifically yours is specific so this is going to be for specific uh virgos okay because who's coming towards you we got the mature woman okay we got the dragonfly okay we got the peacock okay Raise your standards. All right, so this is what we got, guys. All right, so let me tell you about this mature woman. Okay, so first of all, this mature woman is not old in age. That's not what this, that's not what spirit is giving me. This woman is um, mature, me mature spiritually, mature um, and, and speech, mature how she handled herself, uh, how, how she, um, um, uh, think and how she carry herself. She's very mature. She knows what she wants. She's been through a lot. She's made a lot of mistakes and she's learned from her mistakes. She's very mature that way. Okay. This woman here, um, don't look like this. Yeah. This, yeah. This woman here is well put together, well dressed. Hair is on fleet. Um, nails done, feet done. Um, this woman is well, um, well, well put together. Okay. Her home is well put together, stylish. Um, a lot of people, um, look up to this woman for advice and, um, look up to this woman for fashion sense and different things like that. This woman here got, got it together. So we're going to move on because I can't be long winded. I hear a lot of, I'm hearing a lot of things with this, but for the mo 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 most part, and let's, re let's, re um, let's, um, reiterate this says a mature woman, but this could be a male or a female. Okay. But it's just feminine energy and it's a fem is it's a mature feminine energy. So if it's a male, this male is on fleet. You know, he got the latest style, the latest, his haircut, his beard on, on fleet, you know, um, his hair trimmed. He may be bald. He may, he, he's smelling good, looking good in charge, large and in charge. This man got it well put together. He knows what he want. A lot of women is after him. Um, he's nice looking, um, well, well, well put together. Okay. All right. So 
this person is coming towards you. Um, okay. Okay. All right. So this person is coming towards you. And this person is coming towards you. This this is uh, somebody um, that you are dating. You know, somebody you used to date. Or this is one of your... Um, when I say somebody that you used to date, it was nothing serious. You guys just dated, but it wasn't exclusive. It was it wasn't something really really serious where you you know it's your ex. Okay, you guys just dated and it fell off, right? Um, this person here, um, things are coming to the light because this person is wanting to come back in. This person really. Um, it admires admires you if this is you virgo or if this is you virgo this person admires you if, if this if this is you the cross watcher um someone in this person admires you they admires you they want to come back in but um they are they don't want you to find out how they feel yet the reason why this is, you know, this person is coming in, but they're trying to be strate strategic about it. They're trying to um, make plans uh, uh, and trying to come in and be lighthearted. Let's be friends. Um, come in and one day call you. And then next thing you know, you guys are talking every day. Next thing you know, y'all exclusive and y'all back dating. That kind of thing. This person is trying to come ease back in, but... Um, I don't know why they're trying to make make do it that way. Okay, so let's see. Um, this is somebody that's in your life. I'm not going to say if it's new, old, whatever, because this could be so many scenarios. This is someone that's someone that's coming back in your life that's mature, mature, uh, secure, uh, stable, um, this grounded. Got their stuff together. This person is coming in. It may be a, it may be new. It could be an ex that has transformed. Because this says heal. It says change, and it says adapt. So if it's your ex, this person has changed. This person has healed, and this person is ready to come in and adapt to uh, the changes that's in your life. That you and you and them can come together and and co uh, and collaborate. If it's new love, this person is coming in. They know what they want. They know they want you. They've already peeped you out. They already like your style. They like what the way you talk, the way you, your, uh, the way you, uh, you know, the way you think. They already, you know, they already liking you. They're gonna come in like it's new, like they just seen you. But this person been, um, watching you and and um, looking at you for a while. Okay, um. Now this card right here, um, the peacock makes me feel like that this particular person that's coming in is an ex, okay? Um, but these two cards, it's, it's okay, what I just said, because we, like I said, it's so many different scenarios. But this particular card, um, we got to zone it on in to be concrete to what what person the more majority of the collective and the majority of the collective with this particular card what needs to be said is um that this person is an ex that you separate that you separate you you guys are no longer together it could have been I, what i'm getting from here is this um particular ex um things could have just fell off or it could have been a mutual um a mutual thing where you both just stop seeing each other or it could be um that this person did not treat you right did not do and you just cut them off and left them okay but anyway um what is what this person is saying right off the bat this person is saying this person is in a lot of regret a lot of regret because they finally realize how selfish that they but they okay uh Okay, hold on. I feel so... I feel so many different emotions when I think about you. 
when I see you, when I hear your name. I just get so many different emotions all the way down to feeling foolish, stupid, and dumb, all the way to pride, ego, um, anger, bitterness. I have so many emotions, but not just the, not just at you. I'm, I have it at myself because for the most part, when I think about you, I look at my behavior. My my behavior was rooted in what people thought, what people think. Um, show it was about show and about image and about status, but none of those things really matter at the end of the day, because what does status mean? What do show mean? If you really love somebody and you let them go because of what others think. Or what status bracket they're in. I've learned that that doesn't mean anything. And I'm full of so regret. And I feel so stupid and foolish. Because at the end of the day, I lost you. All because I wanted to put on a show. I was fake and phony. Didn't express how I felt. And didn't tell you how much you meant to me. And how much I needed you in my life. Because based off what other people thought or what other people would say or what other would other people approve but now you're gone you're gone and now I don't even care about a status I don't even care about that because I have lost the best thing that ever happened to me I would do anything if I had another chance <laughs> Look at that person's face. Full of regret, pain, and suffering. All because the peacock want to put on a show. Want everybody else to see this show instead of what was really in this person's heart. The love and com the love that they had for you. The desire that they had for you. This person had you on a pedestal. They thought you was the greatest thing, better than sliced bread. But they couldn't show you that. They couldn't tell you that because based off other people's approval and what people say, they couldn't. But no, it wasn't that they couldn't. It was that their pride and ego wouldn't allow them to do it. And so now they have to suffer. Suffer in silence and what this, this box that they placed themselves in. And if this is you, if if you're the recipient, the recipient, the recipient of this, move on. Move on. There's somebody better. There's some. There's somebody wiser. There's somebody that will stand for you, not be ashamed of you. Go always step up to be with somebody who's going to match you. This person doesn't match you because this person is still in pride and ego. If you are regret and you still standing in regret, do something about it. That's how you know somebody changed. When somebody do something about it, instead of walling in, 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 walling in this energy, you still stuck. So you have not changed. You have not healed. So keep it moving. Something better is on the way. Okay. All right, additional information for Virgo. Virgo, Virgo, Virgo. What we got for additional? What we got going on with this mature woman or man? They mature. We got somebody stepping up. All right, so. Okay, this person thinks you're beautiful. This could be a Caucasian person, a um, few extra pounds, riding by your job. This, this I told you somebody's watching you. Um, could be Irish in their um, bloodline, longing for you. This person is longing for you. So let me clarify something here. This mature woman, I mean, this mature person may very well not be this person. 
because now that there's now that this person has spoken and now that i see that this their energy this person could not be this person so this may be someone new that's coming in actually new and this is an ex that know that this person is coming in and they know that they, and they know that they, they know that they lost you this person knows that they're lost you because they feel this person's energy coming in Okay, this is male or female. Six is harmony, communication, and cooperation. So this person is coming in and this is a new energy. This is an old, and it's an old energy. Even if this is an ex, this is somebody that has transformed, renewed, and, and moved forward. But this is somebody, This is if this is an ex, this is somebody that's stuck. Stuck in pain, misery, um suffering suffering is silence and pride and ego this person is not the person that this is so be aware of that that's clarity guys it's two different people okay schoolmate could be a schoolmate college degree somebody you went to college with wants to get you pregnant somebody want to have a family with you aries okay could be an aries um father Father in all forms, I mean, this could be a father of your children, a father of, of your person. So, so father is significant in here, okay? This person went to a tarot reader. Tarot reader said that your soulmate is on the way. This person is going to be your soulmate. Or this is your soulmate uh, that's coming back in to you. Change, renewed, and ready to adapt to whatever they need to do to get this relationship back on track, okay? Two different people. Two di I didn't know that until this person started speaking. Can't be. This energy cannot be this person. Two people, All right? So let's move this over here. And we got to hurry up. We're making these short. All right, so we got the sun. All right, this very positive energy outlook we got the starfish so this person views you as a star you are very wealthy you are abundant to them um in their life you are very important um you are my uh, no you are always in my heart you are always in this person's heart okay um you're a warrior you're somebody's fighting for this relationship somebody's getting ready to come towards you and fight for you okay um, that's how you're going to know it. This person going to treat you very, they, this person knows that you are enough. They know that they are enough and they ready to come together. So you guys can be enough for each other. Fearless. They, this person is fearless. This is how you're going to know this person. Trust. You're going to be able to trust this person. You're going to feel like you can trust them. Here's enough again. So enough is very significant. Both of you, both of you are going to know that you value each other. You are enough for each other. Um, protect it. This, uh, this person is going to protect you. Trust is here again. So trust is significant. This person is going to come in and you're going to be able to trust this person. They're going to prove it to you that you can trust. They're going to want to earn your trust. Somebody wants your forgiveness. Someone wants your forgiveness. They want to tell, uh, they, they, uh, a miracle is on the way. Okay. Uh, flowers. Somebody wants to give you flowers. Um, always. Someone wants to tell you they always love you. Um, the Herman, uh, the uh, hummingbird is about communication. Sweet, sweet communication. Sweet communication. All right. Um, the tree of life, spirituality. Someone in, in this connection is very spiritual. You got wealth in abundance that's on the way because here's the wealth, um, the grapes, which means abundance and wealth. All right, we got a leaf. Somebody, um, something significant happened in the fall. Here's transformation, okay? Um, somebody like to ride bikes, whatever form that means. Exercise bikes, bikes, uh, motorcycle. Somebody got a bike, okay? So we got Y, I mean, we got, yeah, we got Y, we got V, we got N, we got T, we got F, we got C, we got P, we got Z, all right? Um, these messages can be for any anybody clicked on or 
pertaining to this message. You are such a precious part of my heart. I think of you morning, noon, and night. I love you so much. So this is a message for someone who's clicked on here. Someone wants to let you know that they love you and they're thinking about you and they really, really care about you, okay? So if you think, it, if you got whoever popped up in your mind, this person gave you this message. They love you. They're thinking about you morning, noon, and night, and um, you are precious to them. They have you still on that pedestal. All right. They want to let you know that you are my light. You are my everything. My, my wish fulfillment. I can't wait to see you again. Somebody is longing to see you again, hear your voice, uh, feel your touch. Somebody's longing to just be around you again. You are everything to them. You, you are their light and they just want to see you again and want to be around you again and spend time with you. All right. That's another message for someone that's clicked on here. Okay. So let's see. All right, so your love oracle is express, express, uh, uh, express love through gifts. A small token of love can can convey great appreciation. So what I'm getting from this is some of you um, are not taking care of yourself. Yeah, some of you. Virgos are not taking care of yourself. You give it to everybody else, but you're not giving to yourself. You're not giving that small, you're not even willing to give yourself a small token. You buy yourself something that you need. Buy yourself something or go get a gift. That's, go get something that you really, really like. You Or a lot of you are letting yourself go because you're depressed or you feel like, you know, love, you know, feel like something is missing in your life. Somebody's missing from your life. You're missing someone. You're longing after someone. Look, this, what this is saying, what this part of, part of self-love is being able to give to yourself acknowledging those things that you truly want and desire in your life and giving it to yourself. Stop looking for other people to give things to you that you can provide for yourself, okay? Life is not about what people can do for you. It's what you can do for yourself. And when you get yourself in order and give to yourself and love yourself abundantly, then you can be able to pour all that extra love out to other people. But until you can get yourself right, until you can love yourself, until you can buy yourself things and give you small, small, it don't have to be nothing large, small token. You can go buy yourself a candy bar if that's your desire. Do something. Get your nails done. Get your hair done. If you're a man, go get your beard trimmed up. Go buy you a shirt. Go buy you some socks. Go do something. You know, to, to for yourself you do too much for others that you can't take it's it's a shame and it's a travesty that you do so much for others but you're expecting people to do for you what the, what you do for them but that's not the way it go you got to do for you you got to do for you and when you start doing for you and people start seeing you do for you then people will pitch in and want to do some things for you too but when you giving and giving and giving, people going to take, 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 take and leave you drained and with nothing. It's time to get woke. All right. All right, Virgo, that has been your reading. I hope it resonated. I hope I clarified well. Tell me how I did. If you don't want to write, give me emoji. Write it. Put, put an emoji out there. All right. Give me something. Tell a sister something. All right. Um, I read all the comments, so if you want to share your story, you can. If you like, thumbs up. If you didn't, thumbs down. Um, share, share, share. Subscribe. If I'm rocking with you and you're rocking with me, um, social media, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, description box, COVID-19, guys, wash your hands. Um, uh, follow the guidelines, social distance, take care of yourself, take care of your family. Indeed, Black Lives Matter. Indeed, your life matter. I'm sending love. I'm sending healing your way. And Trinity is out.